So we're taking a look at the new dust extractor system now on top of the feeder house. The whole purpose of this is it's trying to reduce the amount of dust buildup which is coming out of the feeder house and swirling up around the cab. And it's taking that flow and forcing it down the side using a fan system. Now, if we do find that we're getting any debris or blockages in the fan system, the top of the dust extractor has two access panels, which we can then remove the wing nuts, and then we can get in and physically remove the actual debris itself. Additionally, if we also find that we're getting some loss from the, the feeder house itself from in the lighter crops such as rape and grass seed, we can actually remove the bolt holding the fan unit on and so it reduces the flow from the feeder house. So for our customers cutting maize, we can adjust the front roller on the feeder house. By loosening the two lock nuts on this side of the feeder house and additionally the two lock nuts on the other side of the feeder house, we then have the option to adjust the roll pin itself 90 degrees. This will then turn the blocks in the front of the feeder house, lifting the roller. This is then going to give us the option that when we're cutting the maize or the bulkier crops, it gives us better crop flow in through the feeder house. So we're going to be taking a look underneath the feeder house now, but just be aware that when we're carrying out any work underneath the feeder house that we have the ram stop in place. So we're underneath the feeder house now and you can see that we have access to a couple of things. We have access to our stone trap door, which is openable by our stone trap handle from the outside of the machine. We also have access to our deawning plate handle, which again is accessible from the outside of the machine. This handle is going to close the front cover flaps underneath the front APS system for those times that we want to hold the crop in the freshing system a little longer. We also have access to our cover plate on the front axle. By removing this cover plate, it will then allow us access to our prep trays. So you can see we're still underneath the feeder house now. What I've done is I've removed the top cover, which is accessing our front axle using these two bolts. And I have then removed the three bolts along the front of the prep tray cover. To then open the prep tray cover, I then pull on the front like that. And you can see you have access to your prep trays. Now, depending on your Lexian machine, you will either have five or six prep tray system. The reason we have prep trays on our Lexian combines is to aid our sieves. All of the grain which is freshed out in our freshing system is then transported down to our prep trays and the prep trays shake and move to the back of the sieves. Occasionally, depending on our sample, we will have to clean these prep trays. To do so, we can slide one of the prep trays out, like so, and remove it from the machine. We can then use an airline to clean any of the dirt or dust which is then built up on the prep tray itself. And then we can put the prep tray back into the machine. The prep trays themselves aren't unique, so they can slide into any of the slots.